Hey, what's going on, Cowboys Nation, man? Just going to break down this journey from yours truly, Layal Collins, man. Now, coming out of college, he was one of the best linemen, period, regardless of position in the, in the country. And he went to LSU, which is, you know, one of the best, and the, well, probably the best uh, conference out there, which uh, in regards to the SEC. Now, when you look at linemen, you would definitely want them from SEC or the Big Ten. That's problem. That's um, usually the best players and the best linemen attend those conferences. And then um, the only reason why we have him on our team is because he had an off-field situation, which um, put him in a situation where he just said he didn't want to get drafted. So teams passed on him. He didn't get drafted at all. And we ended up getting him as a, a free agent after the draft. And since then, he's been one of the best players on our team. He started out as tackle, and then he went to guard, and then he went back to tackle. Now, um, based off of his his uh, his future and what he was doing for the Cowboys, they offered him a contract. Now, when he when he got offered when he got offered this contract, it wasn't. It, he didn't take the most. He didn't take the. He wasn't the highest paid tackle. He's what he signed what you would call a, a team friendly deal. And then when you look at the love and the appreciation psych that Cowboys fans are giving him, all because last year he missed the whole season because he may have been out of shape. Like what was he going? Like what was Leo Collins going to do last year with Andy Dalton? Like based on all the injuries and how that year played out. Do you think Leo Collins starting at right tackle would have made a difference? I mean, he's he's good. He's not that good. Man. I'm sorry. So now when you look at um, the, the the comments and and the things he's getting from our, from his own fan base, it's ridiculous, man. You get a couple games or a couple good games from Terrence Steele. Now all of a sudden, oh, we don't need Collins. He, he's getting paid this amount of money, which is a team friendly deal. But he, y'all, he's just his contract's out in the air when it shouldn't even be. It shouldn't even be. It shouldn't even be discussed because he took a, a, a discount. And then what you got, what you got his talent for when he came out of college as a free agent was pennies. It was pennies, man. Anytime you get that t- that type of talent as a college free agent or a, a unsigned unsigned free agent or undrafted free agent. For those, those contracts, man, based off of his talent and what he put out on the film in college, was crazy. It's, it's a crazy discount. It's almost it's, it's damn near free. And then you look at the love he gets from Cowboys Nation. You get a couple games from Terrence Still, who played horrible, who played horrible last year, and now he turned it around. You know, he had a couple good games. Oh, they, they just forget about Layell Collins what he did. For the first for the for the first three four years of his career, in the cow for uh, for for Cowboys Nation, now all of a sudden man we we, we got Terrence Still, we got Terrence Still. This man had every nickname in the book last year, aluminum steel and all types of stuff. Now all of a sudden we got Terrence Still. We don't need Leo Collins. Like what? What? And then even this year where it took him you know some games to. To get acclimated back to the NFL speed and the type of things he needed to get used to again because it, he didn't play all last year. You know what I mean? So the first couple games you see him this year was basically like preseason. Like two years. Like that's like that's like missing two years of, of football time and then you come back and you play in the preseason. That's basically what happened to him. You know what I mean? But it just turns out that those that preseason time was regular season time regular season time this ain't playoffs right now this ain't playoffs so why are we judging why are we being so critical on Leo Collins when it, when the, this, the, the film he was putting out there was his first time playing in two years come on man so it's like it's, let's be fair let's be critical all these players y'all want 
to take team Philly deals and think about this player and let's bring back this player. So we got to bring back him. So that means this person got to take less. He did that. He took less. He took less and it don't matter. Cowboys nation still want to get rid of you for Terrence Steele. And then in, in these last couple games, um, I know, I know definitely this uh, game against Washington, the offense played bad. Not, not Leo Collins. Now yeah, Collins didn't play bad. If it's anybody that's going to get a, a high five on the offensive side, it's Leo Collins. Of course, uh, Zach Martin too, but you know, Leo Collins' name is mentioned as, you know, one of the best players that uh, produced against Washington. And look at us and where we're at now. Tyron uh, Ty Smith is hurt. Tyron Smith is hurt. They ain't, they ain't moving Leo Collins. And if they do, it's because they feel better with him at a left tackle than anybody else on the team. But they're not moving him because Terrence Steele. They're moving him because if they do move him, more likely they probably won't. He'll probably be right tackle against the Giants. But it's crazy how a guy that was definitely a top 10 pick coming out of college got signed to a Snickle Fritz contract. Pineapple Express, if you know, if you've seen the movie. And then when it was time to get an extension, he took less. Again, Snickle Fritz. Again, I mean, it's a decent contract. I'm not saying it's not, um, you know, favorable. It's, it, it was, it wasn't, a, it wasn't the average for that position at that time. He took less. He took less. Something like what Tyron Smith did. If you look at Tyron Smith, another person that you know. Oh, let's draft this. We need a new tackle. We need, we need to get rid of Tyron Smith. Somebody else that took another discount. I mean, he signed 10 million a year. That was like, what, 10 years ago? He signed a 10 year deal. A 10 year deal, man, for 10 million. Now, if you look at left tackles now, how, what? How many of them dudes that's getting more than 10 million is better than Tyron Smith? I'll wait. You need some more time to think? All right, I'll wait again, man. Cowboys Nation, man, we, we, oh, man. And it's not all of us, but these, these it's some of us, man. It's, it's, I, it's not, it's more than some. It's much, it's sometimes it's a majority. I don't understand, man. Y'all expect the Cowboys to go 17 and 0. Y'all expect us to beat every team by at least three touchdowns. And it's, and it's getting out of hand, man. It's like, I can see if every other team that was good or, you know, at the top of their division, I can see that those guys were undefeated and their quarterback is throwing 100 touchdowns and no interceptions and their, their, their line is, it's like, man, we, we're spoiled, we're spoiled, man, we're spoiled. What Jay-Z said, man, uh, it was something in regards to uh, she's used to filet mignon. She not. She don't want no hamburger helper. She don't want to go from filet mignon to hamburger helper. That's what the cowboy fans are, man. Like we, we're used to having one of those dominant offensive lines, man. The the, the one when when Zeke first got in the league and when that came in the league, when they came in the league together, that offensive line was incredible. That that line was one of the best of that decade. Like now. That's what we expect. That's the standard. And it's not fair. It's not fair, man. We don't got Frederick no more. You know what I mean? And the same per Bayadis, man. They were he was getting a lot of crit a lot of criticism, which is probably um deserving. But now you when you look at his his position, man, he's the Pro Bowl leader for centers in the NFC. In the, in, uh, in the NFC. So it's like, come on, man, like guys what what world do we live in where we get what we want and then when we have it we don't want it we want to talk bad about it that sounds like a female that's like a female trait so what's going on <laughs> is it a lot of female traits in cowboys nation man come on man leave layout collins alone stop putting more dirt on this man's shoulder he's legit one of the best tackles in the league 
and he's going to continue to prove it as he gets better and more acclimated to the system he's still a young dude man that was recovering from her injury and that last year injury was out for the year so what so what we were horrible last year sit him out go ahead everybody else every zeke should have sat out everybody should have sat out because we weren't going to do nothing anyway that got hurt since that got hurt everybody it don't matter i don't want to play come on man cowboys nation man stop this appreciate the players man before they leave and they go somewhere else and ball like the corner from the chiefs you know what i mean like players that we don't appreciate they go other places and ball out man that's all i got to say man peace